I'm Alana Boyd and I'm a pole vaulter with the QAS. Um, yeah, I just had a weight session, so I'm in the middle of kind of my competition phase at the moment. I'm all kind of about freshening up a little bit and, and getting ready for a competition so you're not too flat in competition and just ready to go. And I've been working with Chris uh, since August, since um, I guess coming back from my surgery with my rehab. And um, it's been really great working with Chris. Um, he's always very positive and um, you know, enthusiastic and um, I'm really enjoying the program that I'm doing, there's lots of variety and I'm definitely getting stronger and I, I can see that in, in, in the gym but also, um, you know, on the pole in, in my life. Um, yeah, so I was involved in the um, Emerging Leaders program which is fantastic, it was good to get some, um, you know, good tips um, out of that, that program and um, with Natalie Corp and, and whatnot. Uh, ACE has, I've used over the years uh, at the QAS um, in terms of uh, working, combining work and um, my training. So. Hi, I'm Matthew Cameron. I'm a T54, which is my class in athletics um, wheelchair sprinter. I do 100, 400 um, and a 4x4 relay. I've been doing it for about seven years now and I've been with QAS for the same amount of time. Um, Well, I was a wheelchair basketballer to start with um, all those years ago and I used to play um, for the under-23 Australian team and I had Brett Jones, my current coach, um, he kept festering me and saying, you know, come, I, he must have seen potential in me and kept festering me to come to athletics so eventually I tried out um, up in Townsville because that's where I'm from and since then I've never looked back. <laughs> yeah, um, I've been to two Paralympics now so it's been, it was a great change. Andrew um, looks after my gym programs and Brett looks after my track. And I'm probably out in a track at least four times a week and then one road session. And I'm in here three times a week. But I'm, I'm also always popping, popping in to do my stretches and activation sessions. Yeah, so. Um, <laughs> I'm a familiar face. I just always like to tell, uh, particularly kids growing up, is just to um, enjoy the sport first and have fun because my, I've raced for a scribe for several years now and um, I know I wouldn't be still do, be wanting to do that if I wasn't enjoying every time I step out in the track or in the gym. So I think that's just my number one piece of advice to enjoy it, and then after that is to uh, My name is Matthew Denny, and, and my events are shot put, discus, and hammer. Like, it means a lot. It means that everything I've been doing has been paying off, and um, and just like, you know, there's more to come. And when we, when we actually came on that day, I didn't even know I was nominated for it. I was pretty happy to get it, especially the beside um, Sally. So, like, it means. Like it just shows that you don't have to be um, super old and up in the open ranks just to do well. So um, yeah, no, it's probably one of the biggest achievements I've got. So uh, because I'm actually distant from Brisbane, um, I actually live two hours away. Um, the probably the most um, helpful thing would be the um, actual financial support. So when it comes to like. Um, new equipment and stuff like that. I actually got um, I got new equipment for my gym a few weeks ago, and like that's already it's already helped a lot. Like if it wasn't for if it wasn't for QIS, then I actually wouldn't have that gear. And then um, just coming down, like using the biomech fellas and um, trying to figure out what like that little split second they can change from like a 75 meter throw to an 80 meter throw. So.